All right. So at the heart of the reading, we have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords in this deck, I always think of it as um, taking the time off to do some in introspection. This also indicates to me spiritual ascension. As you can see, she is floating on top. Her hair is like wafting in the air. So she's going through a period of spiritual ascension. And this is basically, um, I guess in the metaphysical terms, it can be reaching a higher state of vibration, reaching a state where you're able to see how decisions in the past have really affected the trajectory of your life. And you're going to figure out that I need to, you know, make better decisions moving forward, or I need to change the course of direction in my life. And you at this point know how to adequately do so. Okay. In terms of what's crossing you here is the four of coins. A lot of you financially, you're in a good place right now, I feel, but you're not operating from a place of, of financial abundance. So it's as if things financially, spiritually, emotionally have started to stabilize for you. And you are actually in a good place right now and you want to maintain the status quo. Um, however, with the four of pentacles, it does indicate to me that... Um, you might have a lot of plans that you want to get started, but the financial abundance or the financial backing is not yet coming through. And I do feel by the end of this month, it will. For those of you who are waiting on a, uh, a loan, a payment, or any type of like a financial windfall, in order to start a new phase in your life, it's definitely coming through. So just wait it out a little bit more and be patient, okay? In the meantime, live within your means. Don't uh, succumb to like emotional spending, okay? You're in a really good place right now. Um, in the past position, we have the five of coins. And this is a really good card to get in the past. It's in the reverse position too. So that, that period of self-doubt. Um, being trapped in toxic relationships or even like, you know, letting go of karmic toxic people from your life. They're in your past. They're not in your uh, environment anymore. So a lot of you have made really, really great strides and traction in getting your life in order, sorting all the riffraff from, you know, the, the people who are gems that are worth keeping around. So you've done house cleaning. You've done house cleaning on the love department, on the financial department, on the family environment as well. And you're cleaning house, you're cleaning out your closet, you're decluttering your space, and you're able to achieve peace of mind as a result of it, which is really, really good. So congratulations on that. In terms of what's crowning you, we do have the Three of Swords in the reverse position. So definitely this is residual energy where you're feeling that lack of somebody's presence in your life, okay? And it's completely normal. It's all of the, the moving on process. You have to mourn one relationship adequately in order for you to, um, I guess, rebuild yourself and rebuild the, and to create the life that you want. So things cannot end or cannot start until other things have been washed away from your life. So I do feel like, you know, the rest of this month is more of a mental, emotional clearing of baggage, of people, of past pains and disappointments, okay? So you're still seeing the residual impact of it, but you know that your life is in a better, you're achieving more like balance and equilibrium and your your life is off to a good start at this present moment. And, and I feel that a lot of you too, new things are coming through and you're just like pretty secure at this point. And you might be hesitant about achieving or stepping out and wanting to take up new opportunities, okay? In terms of what's in your environment that you're not aware of here is the Seven of Wands. Whenever I see this card, I always feel, you know, it's like the, the person in the village who stands out and the villagers are just like, um, they're mired in negative thinking. So then, it, what is that expression? It's sort of like... Um, how people who are in a dark place, they don't really like it when you are able to rise above it. So they try to drag you down with them. Okay. So of course, the people that you've left behind, the situations that you've had to sever out of your life, they're trying to come back in and they're trying to, um, they're trying to mire you or suck you back into the drama and you're rising above it. So this is a very, very good card. It's a card of defending your beliefs, defending your ideology and going against the tide even be because you believe 
what you're doing is right and I do feel what you're doing is right you're on the right track right now and you don't really care what other people think because you know you're on the right track you're being guided and you are reaching that point of spiritual ascension where you're able to like look down at your life and how all the pieces fit together you're looking down from the mountaintop and you're seeing the the bigger picture you're I guess um foregoing immediate pleasures for long-term stability and emotional fulfillment which you're going to get because the outcome looks very very good okay in terms of the advice here you have the three of cups which indicates to me there is going to be a celebration coming through so um you know despite going through this period of isolation and feeling as if it's too much work to get other people into your life or incorporate other people into your life. So you'd rather, you know, isolate yourself and work on yourself in order to move forward, in order to let the healing start. I do feel there is something coming through for you here, King of Wands, which can indicate to me a friendship or a uh, love prospective relationship, okay, like a love prospect. And it's a fire sign. This is somebody with a very strong fiery energy. And this is somebody that you should let into your life. Kings usually know what they want. And they don't really hesitate when it comes to getting what they want or going after what they want. In the upright position, it indicates to me this is somebody who's um, learned a lot from their life experiences. And they, they're very deliberate in their actions. So long-term potential can be achieved with this person, okay? So this is a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. And I do feel this is a very dynamic person that will usher in like a breath of fresh air for those of you who have been looking. And um, what's coming on the heels of this fire sign is a celebration. So there's going to be a romantic, um, you know, opportunity to pursue things or go out and celebrate with this fire sign. There's also like invitations for social gatherings and things like that as indicative of the three of cups. In terms of your external environment, we do have the justice card in the upright position. So I do feel that um, for those of you who have been waiting around for a decision, who have been kept in limbo regarding a job opportunity, the contracts are definitely coming through. For those of you who might have gotten away from like, you know, uh, have gotten through like a separation, a divorce, some type of um, work environment that didn't really pan out the way you want. Well, the justice card indicates paperwork or things getting resolved on their own and they're going to be in your favor mainly because the outcome indicates some money coming through emotional fulfillment so things are definitely going to pan out the way that you'd and you'd hope okay so don't worry things are going to resolve themselves and they are going to get resolved by the end of this month so this is like a new phase in your life that's being cultivated and it's being um you're still dealing with the residual impact of past decisions and past people but after this month things are going to be wiped clean and you're going to start with a clean slate come November okay and I do feel November is going to bring in a lot of good things for you so I promise the reading in November I'm, I'm sensing a lot of positivity a lot of new energies a lot of happiness contentment and it's coming through not because of any transit or planetary um, aspects. It's coming through mainly because you've taken the time to adequately heal and you're taking the time to retreat within yourself in order to find the answers that you really need. So you're listening to your higher self guiding you on the right path. And because you've been doing this for the past few months, the universe is rewarding you basically you're walking on the right path when you're on the right path things start accelerating very very quickly and that's when you know you're on the right path things just you know escalate and they accelerate and the direction of your life is just it, it feels like a lot of doors will open up for you and I do feel by November you're going to start with a clean slate and you have basically um nothing holding you back in terms of starting that next phase in your life okay in terms of your hopes and fears here we have the knight of wands a lot of you are kind of thinking about wanting to get away from it all like taking a vacation going overseas going on going somewhere where people don't know 
where you where you've been, who you are, and starting you know starting things over from scratch. And you're feeling a surge of passion for you know the unknown, the exotic, and you want at this point to take risks. And this is a really good thing to do because you've been isolating yourself. You have new energies coming through and they're bringing in like a breath of fresh air, which makes you want to emulate their energy, which is, you know, being more adventurous, living life to the fullest and not having to um, overthink things too much is what I'm sensing. OK, so this is a very good energy. So what's coming in here at, as the outcome? We have the page of coins, which indicates to me um, money coming through for you, possibly a new job opportunity. I do feel if you have been waiting around for some job situation to finalize, such as a job offer, background checks, and things like that, is definitely coming through for you, as well as the Ten of Cups, which indicates the apex of emotional happiness, okay? So you're going to be quite pleased by the end of this month. The only thing I want you to um, be aware of is we do have an earth sign here in the reverse position. This can be um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is um, somebody that you might that might bring news on the work front or they might be coming back in from the past. I do sense there is some an earth sign coming back in from the past, but not in a romantic way. OK, so I just want to be clear here that regardless of how regardless if you've been dealing with an earth sign and things have been very very unstable and rocky and then all of a sudden they contact you i do feel that they want to make amends and they want to continue a friendship with you just a platonic friendship the other cards do not indicate to me any type of a romantic gesture so you've done a lot of good work on yourself you're starting to see the big picture when this person comes in by the end of this month, just be very careful that you don't let your imagination um, misguide you or, you know, don't let your imagination run rampant because they're showing up in the reverse position. So you might be at cross purposes with one another. If you can be honest with yourself that you only want this person in your life as a friend, make sure you stick to that. Make sure you don't cycle through, you know, Maybe we can get back together. No, there's no getting back together, especially if the relationship has been rocky with an earth sign in the past. There's no getting back together. They're coming in purely as a friend. So keep your intentions pure. I don't feel they have ulterior motives, but either way, this is not the person that you want to be with. OK, there is a fire sign here in terms of romance, and that looks a lot more stable because it's a king energy. It can be male or female, and I do feel that that's where you're going to... It's, um, you know, you're a water sign, they're a fire sign, so there's definitely complementarity here that can work out. And at least, you know, it does uh, denote magnetic attraction. You know, opposites do attract. But I do feel this person is stable enough to give you that grounding force where you can feel very emotionally fulfilled, okay? So you have um, two wonderful weeks coming up for you, uh, Pisces. Keep yourself on the same track. You're doing the right thing. A lot of you are heading in the right direction. Money is finally under control. And the past is going to be laid to rest by the end of this month. If the earth sign is from the past, you're going to realize that it's going to be something that you need to leave behind and you can f progress forward with a friendship. But in terms of romantic prospects, you know, try the, the fire sign. It's, it's a lot more stable and it's a lot more magnetic. OK, 